Hello and welcome back to my tech farm. A few weeks ago I did a review video of this uh, Mastol digital microscope and I got several comments that uh, I'm having too much fun with it. It's true not only me but all uh, members of my family. I use it several times since that in different videos. Now a uh, few uh, additional thoughts about it. Uh, these LED lights are super useful but sometimes if I want to watch some uh, shiny object, uh, the reflection of the LEDs uh, is a little bit confusing. So in that case, uh, my solution is that to tilt a little bit the stand and uh, I can see it under the angle so I don't see directly the reflections of the LEDs. Actually for this very useful is this uh, knob I designed and printed in combination with M5 bolt. And this time, uh, in this case, I don't have to use the open end wrench anytime I want to tilt the microscope. Now one more thing, uh, sometimes when I'm using on maximal height, the uh, source of the light of LEDs is maybe not enough. And it's not equal if I'm using on this height or maybe zooming uh, to the closer towards the same object. Uh, I saw a version on Banggood where they have a very similar microscope, but it has two additional sources of the lights from the side. And we can uh, place those lights uh, to point on the object and they are always in the same position, independent of the height of the digital microscope. So if I would buy now uh, this uh, microscope, I would buy that version. But of course, uh, this is sent to me by, uh, for the review and I didn't have this option to choose. Now in the trivia video, I measured the optical zoom is approximately 120 times. So it's not uh, 1200 is mostly using an additional digital zoom. Uh, depends, for me that's far enough. Uh, but if you want to watch the cells or, or I know, uh, bacteria, uh, maybe this is not the best microscope for, for that. Uh, now, the, my problem uh, is that uh, I did, don't know really uh, the uh, size of the zoom, because I just uh, place it in the position and uh, place the focus, and uh, I not know what is the real size of the objects. I try to use this regular a roller but it's too big I mean the one millimeter step is is too big under this microscope and when I was watching the related products uh, I found this uh, this is a microscope ruler and this time I contacted Banggood so, okay so you they sent me the digital microscope for a review but I think it would be useful to send me a microscope uh, ruler because uh, with this I can actually measure different things which are under the microscope and I believe this is a very useful tool, but uh, now I want to take a closer look. The ruler arrives in, in this uh, nice box and it doesn't have a clip, but it's uh, closed with these magnets. Now here it is, uh, not exactly the object which I saw on the website. Uh, what I have here are four calibration points, uh, 1 1.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.15 and 0 0.07 millimeters. And then in the middle I have a ruler of division of 0 0.01 millimeters. What I'm missing here uh, a lot, and that's the ruler of the division of 0 0.1 millimeters, because I think for my needs that would be the most useful. Uh, it's a pity, but um, okay, let's take a closer look under the microscope. It's very important, there is a reading, it says calibration slide, and uh, the painting is on the top of this glass now. And now maybe you can see a small shadow, and if I turn it upside down, there is no shadow, so this means it is painted on top. Uh, in this case, uh, I have to place the object on the top, or if I want to use it on top of some object, then I have to turn it back on to avoid some parallax error because of the thickness of the glass. So this is the 1.5 mm calibration point. This is 0 0.6 mm. <laughs> and this is the ruler. I will take a closer look later uh, because even on this stage, uh, on this zoom, I cannot see the ruler. This is 0 0.15 millimeter point and this is the 0 0.07. Okay, let's take a closer look on this uh, ruler. And now what you see on the screen is the ruler with division of 0 0.01 millimeters. And just for reference, I place here a regular ruler with one millimeter division. And there's a distance of one millimeter between those two lines on the regular ruler. So you can see we have uh, one millimeter divided on 100 parts. So what we can see here is the ruler of a division of 0 0.01 millimeters. 
In the first test I have these objects uh, printed with 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2 and 0.3 mm layer height and I want to see if I can measure uh, with this ruler the printed layer height. Now here you can see when I put it upside down I can see that quite weak parallax error because now it is focused on the ruler and if I place back uh, lower the microscope now it is uh, focused on those layers. So I have to turn this uh, ruler to painted side to be down. And now I can have uh, sharp both the uh, ruler and the layers, the top surface which I want to measure. And yes, I can clearly see uh, that this is a 0.1 millimeter layer height. Let's try the next object. This is a 0.15 millimeter layer height. And yes, I can see between these two lines, so it is a 1.15 millimeter distance. Let's check 0.2 millimeters. And yes, again, distance between these two reflections is uh, 0.2 millimeters. And the last one will be the 0.3 millimeters. Here I can even see the edge of those layers, so definitely yes, I can check that the measure that this is 0.3 millimeter distance. So in my next test I want to measure the diameter of the nozzles. So this is a 0 0.4, 0 0.6 and 0.25 millimeter diameters. It's very hard to place the ruler on the top of the nozzle but I'm using three nozzles to get three point for the plane. And there is the ruler, it's a little bit hard to see because of that black hole background. But actually it is visible and uh, yes, this is a 0.4 millimeter diameter nozzle maybe one or two hundred millimeters more. Let's check the 0.2 millimeter diameter nozzle. Yes, this is 0.25 millimeter diameter. And the last, let's check the 0.6 millimeters. Mm, yes, quite accurate, maybe one hundred or more. And in my last experiment I wanted to measure the diameter of these holes. They are marked from the uh, poly hammer which measure the hardness. I explained that in one of my earlier videos. Uh, so it is important for me to measure the diameter of the, uh, of the holes. Now probably I cannot measure with this ruler because the uh, division of 0 0.01 millimeter has maximum range of 1 millimeter but these are uh, bigger than 1 millimeter. That's why I am missing the 0.5 millimeter ruler from uh, this. Actually, with the poly hammer, I arrived with this uh, small uh, magnifying glass, and there is a ruler of 0.1 millimeter. Only it's very hard to see now from the from this. Uh, let's try to use it in combination with this microscope. So there is the hole, and uh, this is the ruler with the 0.5 millimeter divisions. And as you can see, this uh, hole is approximately 4.2 uh, millimeters in diameter. Let's check the other hole, this gray one. And this hole is uh, 3.9 millimeters in diameter. So now you can see why I'm missing the 0.1 millimeter division ruler from this uh, microscope type. And now the conclusions. And now the final thoughts. Well, usually when I did some kind of review from the Banggood product, I got the comments uh, that, oh, probably this is a special product for the reviewers. Well, uh, you can see now this is not the case because uh, this is very nice product and uh, maybe very useful, but I'm really, really missing the 0.1 millimeter division rule. Uh, which was advertised on the website. If I would buy this product, I would probably send it back or, or ask for another one. Uh, but since I got this for free, as you can see, it's not always the advantage. Uh, now I have to use uh, this one. But of course, I have the other one uh, with the 0.1 millimeter division because uh, for my needs, uh, that will be a much more useful tool. 
Of course, it depends on your needs. Uh, I show you the product, how it looks like and how it works. And now it's up to you to decide uh, if you need this product or not. I place an affiliate link down in the description to this product, uh, but I'm not sure is it especially this one or the one advertised on the website. If you have experience with this, please let me in a comment. Uh, I hope I could give you some useful tips and informations. Thank you for watching and um, I hope you'll follow me to my next video too. Bye.